The Bridgeport Police Department announced the arrests today of multiple suspects involved in a triple shooting at a Park Avenue deli in late August of this year. Approximately 40 shots were fired during that incident. Two of the victims were innocent bystanders. These arrests are the result of a month-long investigation named Operation Take Back Park Avenue. The investigation was launched after numerous shootings and, one, stabbing resulted in two homicides in that same area between May and September of this year. This is the Park Avenue corridor between Wood Avenue and Washington Terrace. On August 22, 2023, at approximately 10.50 p.m. Bridgeport police officers were dispatched to the area of Park Avenue and Washington Terrace on a report of numerous shots fired with multiple individuals shot. Patrol officers arrived on scene to find an adult male and an unrelated adult female suffering from non-life-threatening gunshot wounds. Both were innocent bystanders. They were transported to area hospitals by ambulance. Both have since recovered from their physical injuries. One of the suspects, 32-year-old Alan Luzmet, was shot and seriously injured. He was transported to the hospital via private vehicle. The Bridgeport Police Detective Bureau took over the investigation. Detective Keith Hansen was assigned as the lead investigator with Detective Jeff Holtz assisting. Arrested in the operation were 24-year-old Isaiah Genyas, of Norwalk, Connecticut. He is charged with assault in the first degree, criminal possession of a firearm, and illegal discharge of firearm. 28-year-old Luis Gonzalez of Bridgeport, Connecticut. He is charged with assault in the first degree, criminal possession of a firearm, and illegal discharge of a firearm. 32-year-old Alan Luzmet of Weathersfield, Connecticut. He is charged with assault in the first degree, criminal possession of a firearm, criminal use of a firearm, and illegal discharge of a firearm. 38-year-old Robert Hare of Bridgeport, Connecticut. He is charged with assault in the first degree, criminal possession of a firearm, and illegal discharge of a firearm. 20-year-old Daniel Fuller of Bridgeport, Connecticut is awaiting extradition from South Carolina where he was arrested on an unrelated shooting. Once Fuller is extradited back to CT, he will be charged with assault in the first degree, criminal possession of a firearm, and illegal discharge of a firearm. Each of the suspects were given a $500,000 bond. Police are currently seeking a sixth suspect, 28-year-old Ramir Marka Bush of Ansonia, Connecticut. Bush is currently out on a $500,000 bond related to a 2020 murder charge in Derby, Connecticut. The Connecticut State Police Violent Crimes Task Force attempted to take Bush into custody in Bridgeport last night. Bush fled in a motor vehicle, striking a police car in the process. He was not apprehended. No officers or civilians were injured during that incident. Bush is considered armed and dangerous. Anyone who knows of his whereabouts is requested to call 911 immediately. In addition to the charges related to Tuesday night, Ramir Bush will be charged with assault in the first degree, criminal possession of a firearm, and illegal discharge of a firearm for the Park Avenue shooting. His bond is yet to be determined. Operation Take Back Park Avenue is the result of a combined effort by the Bridgeport Police Detective Bureau, the Fairfield County State's Attorney's Office, the Connecticut State Police Violent Crime Task Force, the Connecticut Department of Probation, the Connecticut Department of Corrections, and the Waterbury Police Department.